How can I share access to my account with someone without giving my password away? Can that really happen? So how can we do that? Well, fortunately, there are so many tools that we can use uh, where we can share access into our accounts without sharing our passwords. Today, I'm just going to talk about one of those tools. It's called LastPass. From the time I started using it, I've been loving this uh, tool. So I'm just going to do a small tutorial where I show you how LastPass works and how it can benefit you. How does it work? Well, as you can see, right on my screen there is actually the landing page or just the first page that you see when you get into LastPass. So how does LastPass work? You can share passwords to different sites with someone. You can also store information such as uh, payment cards or bank accounts or addresses, something that is sensitive that you want to share with people. It can be stored here securely. But the main function that I want to show you is how to show how to add passwords and how to share them with people. So if you come here, you'll find where it says passwords. Or already I have one password that I have in the system. But I'm going to show you how to add passwords. So the first way you can do that is to come to this red button and click it. You can add the URL here. For example, uh, your access to Facebook. You have to write your Facebook URL. You write uh, the name and the folder that you want to put it, if you want to put it in folders. Then you put the username and the site password. If you really want to put notes, you can do that as well. And then you save. That's one way of doing that. Another way of adding passwords can be while you are actually setting up an account. I'm going to make use of an example of onboarding of EasyNote. I'm at a stage where I need to put my password. So how do I do that? I can actually write my password here so that it works uh, and then we save it and we can access it uh, using LastPass. But I don't want to do that. I want LastPass to generate a password for me. So what do I do? I go to this extension that I put for LastPass. So it's available in your browser depending on the browser that you're making use of. Uh, I go to the section that allows me then to generate, which is the generator over here. So I'm just going to generate a password and then copy it. Once I do that, I come to the desired password, then I say paste. I then click this red uh, button, which appears every uh, place where there is access for us to put uh, passwords and usernames. Then I click this red button. And it gives me easy note. The password is already there. Uh, I then say enable autofill. But if I want to log in automatically each time I go to easy note, I can just click here login automatically. So whenever I get, go to easy note, I just click last pass and it logs in automatically. But right now I just want it to autofill. Once I do that, I say add password. I then continue with setting up my easy note. So let me do that. So after finishing setting up uh, my EasyNote account, I go back to my vault just to see, as you can see there, EasyNote has been added. So how do I access my EasyNote? Coming back to that page, when I go to the login page, LastPass will automatically fill in the login details. As you can see, they're already there. So all I have to do is to click Login. Once I do that, as you can see, LastPass filled in the details and I logged into my account. It's that easy. So that's how you add the password. So how do you share the password with someone else who you want to get into your account? So you go back to your vault or your LastPass homepage and you scroll down to where it says Sharing Center and you click on it. You want to share with others, so you click on the next tab which says Share with Others. All you have to do is to click this red button at the bottom. All you have to do then is to add the email of the person you want to share access with. Once you do that, you need to allow them whether to view your password or not. But in this case, we don't want them to see the password. And we now share with them easy not access. So once we do that, we click share. 
as you can see, they now have access to EasyNote. So when they get into their email, uh, they'll be able to get a link where they log into their LastPass account. And that account will allow them to access my EasyNote administrator page without having the password. I refresh my page and the person is accepted. So say I want to revoke their access, we are done with setting up. I want them uh, their access revoked. So what do I do? I simply click here and then go to where it says actions and say revoke access and click yes. In just a click, I have removed the ability to log into my account. So it makes it easy to manage your passwords, give others access into your accounts. So you can make use of LastPass even for free. You can uh, create a free account by accessing the link that I've put in the description. And you really love making use of this tool that I've shown you. Mm -hmm.